How was Google built? I thought this was a good question, but the answers I found online weren't very satisfying. So today we're going to do a deep dive. How was Google built? Stackshare.io tells us that Google's using these technologies here. And um, this list is so broad that it's kind of just like saying, yeah, Google uses technology. So if you like and subscribe, I'm just going to open up with the answer of what Google's tech stack really is. Don't worry, I'll give you a second. Done? All right. So please make sure to watch the end of the video just so that you know why we use this, these technologies at Google. I mean, I say we, but I don't work at Google. I don't represent them in any way. And to be clear, we're not talking about the million products that Google has. We're just talking about Google search. And from my research, I found that Google search is made of the following tech stack. The front end is built in C, which is the front end engine that spits out HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. The back end is primarily built with C++ with some Python sprinkled in for the non-time sensitive operations. And the back end database is built on C++ with their proprietary Bigtable software. After doing the research to come up with these answers, I feel a lot more satisfied because this makes a lot more sense than some random JavaScript framework running Google. So for the front end, we have C, which for the longest time I could not find what ran the front end of Google search. But in this very obscure web dev subreddit post, I mean comment, I found something that looks like it might be gold. Here, user Wisdom says, you may be interested to learn that at Google, there is not an HTML file for the homepage. In fact, it's a program written in C, which is used to generate it. And his source is that he worked there and was on the team responsible for manually changing the homepage to launch Google Doodles, which is pretty cool that I'm reading something written by that guy. I couldn't find any more info on this wisdom guy. I checked out his GitHub. It might be his GitHub, might not, might not be, but it's empty. I mean, for all we know, he could be lying, but it sounds legit. And it's the most recent and definitive answer I could find online. So from my knowledge, how this would work is we'd have the user ping google.com from their browser. Google servers would take the info from your browser via like a cookie, I'm assuming. And then they would feed that information into a super performant C program. That C program would create the JavaScript HTML CSS file on the fly and return you a personalized copy of the homepage to your browser and to your eyes. For the back end, we have C++ and that's for the search itself. It really seems like a mixed bag of beliefs, but from Wikipedia, we can gather that Backrub, Google's predecessor, was built using Java and Python. So we'll have to split up the backend into three parts for easy digestion. It's gonna be the crawlers for indexing, the core page rank algorithm to, for sorting the index, and the query processing to parse the search term and to find the result in the index. So starting with the crawlers, I found that they were initially built in Python, but they transitioned over to C++. An ex-Google engineer explains here that crawling is a relatively small part of the building and index process. Python was abandoned around the year 2000, and because of the bottleneck of concurrency, they switched over to C++. And the fact that the internet really hasn't changed that much over the last decade, so we don't really they don't really benefit that much from using Python for its faster development cycle. So next, we're moving on to the core page rank algorithm. And according to this computation scientist at Google, it's written in C++ and using, they also use Python as a kind of glue. And I'm guessing they're using Python for like non-time sensitive operations, which makes sense because they want their search to be as fast as possible. And for the query processing, where they actually take the search term that you use and try to match it to one of the indexes that they have, I would think that they're using something like a ternary search tree for this because this data structure supports additions on the fly and it allows you to attach arbitrary values to your keys, which makes me think of things like metadata or something. I really wish there was more information on this, but it seems like it's all really proprietary information and they've kept it under wraps really well. So I couldn't really find a definitive answer. And now this brings us to the database, which is Bigtable. Here we have a video of Jeff Dean, the lead of Google AI, 
explaining the goals of Google's database, which sums up why they had to go with their own solution. So their goals were that they wanted to have an asynchronous process to be continuously updating different pieces of data. They needed to support very high read and write rates with efficient scans and joins and have the ability to examine data changes over time. So to solve this, they use a massive database called Bigtable, which they built using their Google file system, or GFS. The system isn't fully relational, but it's apparently suiting their needs better. And based on a quick wiki search, it's written in C++. So just to recap, Google search is built on a tech stack of C for the front end, C++ for the back end server code with a little bit of Python code, and then primarily C++ for their big table data storage system. Hopefully that video was good enough for a like and subscribe. If you like this kind of content, let me know in the comment section below. And especially if you have another company or something or product that you want to know the tech stack of and you want me to make a video on that, let me know in the comment section below. This is Code Phony out. Peace.